Part two of why Toji forgot about Megami, of course, a lot of it had to do with him trying to repress his emotions about Megami because of the loss of the mother, but also I think he started distancing himself from Megami once Megami started manifesting his own powers. And while Gojo sees more monetary reasons why uh, Toji would want to sell Megami after his powers manifested, I think there was an emotional component as well where Toji, of course, him not being born with any cursed energy and not being able to use a cursed technique, uh, I think he saw his son as someone that was someone who was so different from him and maybe it was less jealousy and more him feeling like he didn't deserve to be to raise Megami and of course I think that ties in well with his low self-esteem. He was looked down on by so many people in the Zanin family and we know too that he got the scar on his mouth from being thrown into a pit of cursed spirits uh, you know and of course that reminds us of what happened to Maki. Him repressing his memories of Megami and him wanting to sell Megami all ties back to his low self-esteem.